Hey guys, quick video here. Uh, I've got a new switch for uh, out in my shop to replace an old Cisco switch. Basically, uh, I'm gonna replace it with this uh, USW Lite 8 PoE. We've got four PoE ports, four regular ports. Uh, this is going to replace a Cisco switch out in my shop, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how quickly you can adopt a new uh, new piece of hardware into a Ubiquity, Ubiquity network. And this is the reason why I'm switching everything over to Ubiquity, just so I don't have to mess around with things as much anymore. Uh, so let's go out there. I'll show you what it's replacing, uh, and we'll quickly get this thing uh, provisioned on the network and uh, set up and ready to go. So this is the Cisco switch that we're replacing. It's my old PoE switch from my rack from a long time ago. Uh, I've been working on my workshop. I've got heat out here now. I almost have the ceiling and lights and whatnot. Still lots of work to do, but I did need to get network out here. So I've got myself a, I think this is a StarTech rack or something like that, wall mount, um, StarTech power bar. This is the same one that's in my rack, I believe. Uh, just got a shelf up here. This thing is mounted um, and it will be replaced by this little guy. So. I'm going to leave this in the rack for now just because I, it can just stay there. Um, but it does use quite a bit of power and it's kind of loud. Uh, we've only got four cables in here. Uh, we've got one for the AP, which I still need to go mount. If you see that cable hanging from the ceiling, I've got to ceiling mount this AP at some point. That's what this cable hanging here is for. Um, so I'll do that eventually. But uh, yeah, so we have one cable for the AP. Uh, we have two cameras, and then we have the line in, which right now is this power line adapter, which actually works pretty good. It's about 100, 150 megs throughput, uh, which is fine for out here. I'm just like streaming videos, and uh, I've got two cameras. That's pretty well all that's sitting out here. So um, basically, I'm going to unplug this. We'll plug in the other switch, uh, and then we'll go back inside and provision it, and it should be good to go right away. So as simple as that, we're taking the uplink and we're moving it over to port 8 since it's not PoE. Um, and then we've got our corresponding PoE devices plugged in. I basically just did 2, 3, and 4 from here to 2, 3, and 4 on the switch. So our configuration should be easy peasy. This thing uses less power and is a lot quieter. So now we can unplug this big switch. And now it's nice and quiet in here. So we'll go inside and we'll provision this and uh, should be ready to go. Okay, now we see that uh, we have connectivity with our new switch. It's already popped up here. So this is how easy it is to provision this. So all of my uh, Ubiquity stuff is on a provisioning network, which is the uh, 10.1 or 10.01. Um, so as soon as I plug that in, DHCP finds it or it gives an IP. Uh, the uh, DHCP server points it at the controller, which is this uh, this node here, uh, and we can take it and we can adopt it. Simple as that. So let's adopt that device. And I did grab the configuration we needed from the Cisco switch before I turned it off. Uh, so basically, we just need a trunk on port one, uh, which is actually going to be port eight. Uh, then we need a uh, Trunk on 2 for the AP. We'll have it set up similar to how our upstairs AP is through the flex. Uh, and then we have two cameras, which are going to be on the camera network. And that's just an access. So uh, let's get this set up once uh, adoption is complete. Uh, where do we got? So our USW Lite 8 PoE. We're going to rename this. And we can see our ports here. So we're going to call this Workshop USW 8 PoE, good enough. And then we'll do our port configuration. Okay, so that's good. We'll update the, or the firmware in a bit. So let's uh, let's start with port eight. So this is our main port. So this is um, uplink to core, I guess we can call it. Uh, our, my core switch is just this USW24. Uh, we're going to give it a profile of Uh, trunk 
And that should be good for that one. I'll just make sure that that works because that is our connection to this device. As long as we still have connectivity, which it looks like we do, it's good news. You can see the waters that each of these are pulling. So our port two is the AP. And that is going to be trunk native two. Actually, for the APs, on two, that one's on one. Uh, we can just do trunk. Should be fine. Supply change is there. Uh, so that should be good. And we are getting a 96% experience rating from the Wi Fi. So that's fine. I think there's only two two things out there that use it. Uh, and then we have our two cameras. So we want to set these to security. And port four is also going to be set to security. And I want to double check that security is the one I'm thinking of. You can actually check it on the upstairs flex uh, ports. VR is on security, so We've moved those over, so my camera should show back up in a second, and we should be good to go. So that's how easy it is uh, to provision a new switch on a ubiqu Ubiquity network. I don't have to do any console stuff. Um, it's just plug it in, adopt it, provision the ports through here, and we're good to go. And that's 11 minutes. Uh, 11 minutes of uptime. So that's pretty good. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Go watch some of my other videos. And uh, I'll see you next time I feel like making something.